Hey folks, this is a 7x12 lathe, which means theoretically the size of what you can turn between the chuck and the tailstock is 12 inches. Well, in practicality it's more like 11, even less if you consider the half inch that you get that needs to be grabbed by the chuck jaws. Part of the problem is because the live center at the tailstock is rather big and chunky, and for an upcoming project I'll be needing every last one of those 12 inches. So let's see if you can make a more compact live center. First thing we need to do is turn a number two Morse taper to fit this lathe's tailstock. A neat trick for turning tapers when the accuracy depends more on you than on the lathe is you put the taper you want to match on the chuck, you secure it in place, and we're losing this thing here, if you have this kind of lathe, of course. Now we take a flat piece of metal, in this case it's a scraper. Place it against this thing, I forgot the name. <laughs> and then you just match the angle here. And tighten this thing back up. You might then want to run a dial indicator just to make sure you have the taper correct. Now comes the fun part. Let's go for a test fit, and exactly what I wanted, to be able to retract as further back as possible. So now I have to put a bearing here. For that I have cannibalized the bearings from an old tool. It's just a matter of making a socket here so this can be pressed in there and shaping this like a tip. Let's get that done. Right on point. So now I have a compact live center and I can turn things probably a little longer than 12 inches in this lathe. That will be for another project. For now, thank you for watching. See you next time.